My Hometown, brought to you by Giuseppe Pizzeria by Dr. Utker. How will your family settle the last slice? FaceTime early, buddy. Get some FaceTime early, eh? The last couple of months have been pretty eventful for Corey Conacher. He's a new father to a healthy baby boy, and he's living out a dream of playing pro hockey. Conacher's feeling grateful, and with good reason. When it comes to underdog stories, the 28-year-old Burlington native has a perfect one. At 5'8", the Lightning forward is undersized, undrafted, and the odds have been against him since he was the same size as his son. I was born with bladder extra feet. Basically, my bladder was on the outside of my body. I don't, I've never seen pictures. I don't know what it looked like. It was a very rare defect that, is, you know, they told us one in 50,000 children are born with. His orthopedic surgeon had to literally break his pelvis, reset his bladder inside his body, reposition his pelvis. Then at three, it was a really um, intense surgery to do more connecting up of everything. I was in the hospital for, I think it was at least a month, and where I couldn't even move. And, and, you know, I basically, after that, I had to learn how to walk again. He was crawling around like, like a baby again at three and a half. My husband was just like, it's going to be okay. He's going to get his muscles back. He'll be fine. But it was just as a mom, it just broke my heart. Conacher had more surgeries up until the age of seven. But that didn't stop him at that same age from trying out for his first hockey team. He was the smallest guy on the ice, but he was also one of the most skilled. Like, he'd fly around the ice, he'd control the puck. He, uh, he had a real sense of the game. Conacher became captain of his team at the age of eight. But that same year, he faced more challenges after being diagnosed with type one diabetes. The th first time I got cut was, uh, I think it was minor peewee. I ran into a AAA coach that likes size and with diabetes, and he didn't think I could play a full 60 minutes. So Corey went to AA and led them to two Ontario championships. I don't think he ever cared about anything other than being on the ice and playing. As far as we were concerned, he's just going to be a child with diabetes and he can do anything and everything he wants still, and, and nothing's going to hold him back from what he wants to do. I played. Uh, you know, with my heart on my shoulder, and I played very fearlessly growing up, and my dad always said, if I'm good enough and I work hard enough, you know, someone will see me. It just takes one person to, to see you, to, to give you an opportunity, and, and that's basically how I, you know, played my whole life. Nothing was going to stand in Conacher's way. He kept playing through his high school years and earned a hockey scholarship to Canisius College. He graduated with a business degree and became the Division I school's all-time leader in points. Conacher remained undrafted, but in 2011, at the age of 21, he signed a one-year American League contract with the AHL's Norfolk Admirals. He was a kid that, that came to pro hockey, undersized, under kind of everything. He had diabetes, so he had to play with a pump, which was all new to me. But boy, did that kid have fight in his game. And probably have a little bit of a special bond with him because we ended up winning the Calder Cup that year. The delight of that young man is hard to be explained. It's a special feeling for him, no question. You know, what a terrific story. Conacher earned his first NHL opportunity with Tampa after that victorious season with the Admirals. But he ended up bouncing around over the next three seasons, playing with four NHL teams. For the 2015-16 season, Conacher decided to play in Europe, where he won the Swiss National League Championship with Bern. That off-season, full of confidence once again, Conacher was determined to take one more shot at the NHL by reaching out to a familiar face. Corey reached out and, and sent me a text, and the timing of it was impeccable because right at that time, we had a spot open. I said, John, I, you won't regret it. I'll do whatever I can to, to, to make the team and, and, and be a big part of the team. And he said, um, I'll see what I can do. If he does not send me that text or waits even three or four days, Corey Conacher probably does not end up here. Conacher looks, shoots, he scores! He's bounced around a little bit, but he's always found a way to continue to work hard and continue to, to evolve his game. He's willing to do whatever to, to stay at this level. Conacher's path still isn't easy. 
He continues to fight for a spot on the Lightning roster as he goes back and forth between the NHL and AHL. But perseverance pays off. It's something he'll teach his son, Callum, as he navigates the world of parenthood with a new perspective. Before actually being a father, as a hockey player, you kind of want your kid to be a hockey player as well. You want him to follow in your footsteps. But after he was born, I just realized that really you don't care what he does. You want him to be healthy. You want him to be happy. Um, you want him to love what he does and you'll support it 100%. My Hometown, brought to you by Giuseppe Pizzeria by Dr. Utker. How will your family settle the last slice?